Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. This is mix 7 of the 2024 Matchbox Power Grabs or Mainline. Uh, as usual, no catalogue to go off. We've got the Bronco Sport in dark green. Well, we'll see if it's dark green. And the Freightliner Fire Engine on the other side. Let's crack into it. There's just recolours in this one. No new castings. But I'm loving this Lotus. It's the 1972 Lotus Europa. 93 of 100. You've got the Lotus logo there. Um, at a glance, I thought, new casting? No. And then as I approached in the supermarket aisle, I saw that it was the Lotus sign, not the. Well, it's not familiar on this side. Um, uh, I thought it had one somewhere. They have the big new for 2024 thing slapped on there, don't they? 93 of 100. I've got a bunch of lotuses to show you. I'm very pleased about this reissue. Is it pink? Pink? Yes, it is. And you may well say that uh, we've had a pink before. And you'd be right. You'd be right a couple of times. It's a different pink. Different in terrier and of course you've got the racing stripe all kinds are different but they go really well together I like it just before we get into that was number 93 in case I didn't mention it I've been very keen to get this lotus out there's a bunch of them been around since 2009 this, we've got 2008 copyright on the base got an orange one most of them are chrome interior. Uh, yeah, definitely most of them. This one is not, however. Stuck with the number six for the yellow one. And we had that one with the gold detailing. And that one without the gold detailing. And of course the blue one with chrome interior again. All tri spoke wheels, most of them. And the Lesney Edition with this uh, metal base and also the six. Look at that. There are more. There's always more, isn't there? <laughs> this is the original from the 60s with opening doors. And uh, they're very, very crimsony pink. But they're the lotuses. There are more. I'm yet to collect all of them. Maybe you have some colours that I don't and maybe vice versa but loving it I honestly don't care if they don't give us new castings every time as long as they give us something interesting to look at and I'm easily pleased I'm easily amused and that's doing it for me great start a um, couple of reissues this one's the Beamer um, 2012 3 Series Touring and of course if you're chasing the chase You'll be looking for that one. So we'll put him out front with the new guy. Stack those up there. Uh, recolor in the Freightliner M2106 in at number 76. We'll see what they've done with it. Quite often the artwork doesn't quite match. Here it seems to. Yeah. That's alright. Matchbox Fire Department on the side and familiar dog dish wheels yep that's a winner good what do we say mm, 76 I always cut the picture out of the box and um, after I've finished a video like this and I just put an elastic band around them just to keep me up to date of where we are but for now over the shoulder Volkswagen ID4 number 90 of 100 it's white Was this red last time? I don't remember. I'll have to check. It's a safe colour. You always see white ones, don't you? And that controversial roof window piece thing going on that they've done recently. Obviously a cost-cutting measure. Let's have a look at this one. 2022 Ford Bronco Sport, 44 of 100. Does it have gold wheels though? Oh, yes it does. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh, I like that. Gee, those wheels suit that colour. Here we have the very large lettering. I saw a uh, Toyota Land Cruiser this morning at the lights and it had those huge letters for Toyota. It's a thing. You've got to just roll with it. If you don't like it, you just got to still roll with it. But uh, if you do like the bold badging, and you don't really have a choice now, do you? Because every badge these days is getting bigger and bigger. See the Ford badges on the F-150s? They're enormous. You'd eat your dinner off them. That was 44. Uh, reissue in the Polaris RZR or Razor. That's him there. That was in Mix 6. Now again in Mix 7. If you're collecting everything but missed it. Mm, new colour for the 41 Cadillac Series 62 convertible coupe. It's a mouthful. 59 of 100. And there's something about a roof. Yes, it does have the roof. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm loving that blue. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of controversy about the, the roof. A lot of social media sites, um, chat groups, matchbox collectors groups, are saying, are they going to give it to us without the roof or just with the roof? And it seems just with, which is fine by me. It's a good looker. It's pretty. It's really nice. Chrome base. That was 59. Another recolor. Ford Custom 300. I think we've had the red and the black. There might be another color out there. Was it white? Or was that another one? 41 of 100. This time in blue. Hmm. Oh, you couldn't put those together. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't know how you collect or store your cars, but this will obviously be going in the Ford drawer. It's nice. Very matte, but very vibrant blue, just like the Caddy, but altogether different. That's nice. They'll go well together. Uh, another push along in the V-dub. With the variant, of course, with the stuff in the back and the non-stuff in the back. It's a Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 in blue, 95 of 100. And we've got a double in the caddy. I'm kind of tempted to rip that box open to see if it hasn't got a roof, but I haven't seen any um, on social media without the roof, so I'm guessing not. This has had a lot of hype, probably too much. It's the Holden VF Commodore SSV, um, or as it's known in Australia as just the VF. It's orange. Uh, you see a lot of oranges, orange ones around on the road still. Um, people who bought them are looking after them, which is good for fans of Holden because you still get to see them. It's number 68 of 100. Highly, highly hyped up thing here. Yeah. I'm not sure if they call that the burnt orange or a similar orange, but I love the uh, names of the colours they give cars. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is burnt orange, but there is a car out there with that named colour. Holden VF Commodore SSV on the base 2022. Of course, the first one was the cop car. This one's got the little spoiler detail. And of course, Headlights, grill, license plate, back and front. Because there's no tampos on the side. I can see why everyone's excited about it. And of course, it's an Australian icon. They were released in the States under Chevy, but um, they were made here. Good to see. But it never really lives up to it, does it? Anyway, Nissan Sentra, or Pulsar, as they're known in Australia. 2016 in red number nine now i thought this was a second color for this year and it kind of is but not i'll explain oh that's a very nissan red isn't it that's nice um the confusion is of course it's come out in moving parts this year as well in blue 
and again if you're like me you keep your listens together forwards together etc they'll be going right next door to each other in the drawer beauty really nice you can go over there with the lotuses it's a really nice addition see if you keep your interests simple you're made happy easier <laughs> Got a double in case you missed out. Um, I love this thing, uh, the police interceptor utility. It is with the paramedic livery, which was a little bit surprising to me. But this whole thing was a surprise to me because I was expecting something very close to the the previous interceptor, but completely different shape. Really smart, really nice. And that was new for 2024 in the last mix. If you missed out another shot that was 36 and um, there's a Tesla in here I want to pull out all of my roadsters in a second but we've got a double in the the pink fella um, and this was from last mix that I've included it in this mix the 2022 Renault again with that French flare in the front love it it's a good one. there's so many good things in here um, double in the Beamer Double in the Freightliner, and this was one of the featured ones on the last box. That's the MBX load lifter, in at number 69, so he can stay in shot. Just, uh, but star of the show to me, well, you know, obviously I had to get that one, and I do like it. But the Lotus and this one for me were the highlights in mix seven, number 48 of 100. But before I bring that out of the box, I'll show you what they've done so far. We've had the silver. And all of the ones I'm about to show you have this base. So I'll only show you this base. 2020, well, um, 2020 is the copyright. There's the charcoal. I'm thinking this is like that um, funny foil silhouette look to match that. Maybe I should make a, a different gap for them. I think that was the very first Roadster that they gave us from Matchbox. That's the foil colour I'm talking about. It's kind of not matte, but not metallic, you know what I mean. In black, um, then the recycled carry-on. Carbon neutral, whatever. It's okay. And then, of course, to everyone's surprise, they did a moving parts version. Splendid. All right, let's get to the chase. Not the chase, but the chase. 48 of 100, it's the Tesla roads. What do we have? Oh, I was right. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And if you think they're going to stop there, folks, here's a little hint of something to come. Tesla, 20th anniversary already, and there's a blue one. So they just keep on hitting us with them, and I love it. Like I say, I don't need a new casting every four minutes. I need something different, and this is different. I think that's just cardboard dust. Get off. Yeah, it's gone. Good. Very rarely you have imperfections on today's collection. I was looking for a brown sugar big banger over the weekend. That's not a sentence you often say. <laughs> you know, the Dodge Charger from mm, 70s. It's part of the Roman numeral set. And it'll be about my 15th Dodge Charger. Um, I can get one any time I like, as long as I pay $200 for it and get it in from the UK. But I want mint in mint box. They're really hard to find, unless you're going to spend that kind of money. But it uh, might come down to that. But the imperfections are unreal. You take a little zoom out you know, on the iPad, get a good look at what you're spending all that money on. And it's got chips and marks all over it. You think, oh, that's kind of how they were made back then. I'm loving it. I love collecting Matchbox cars, and look at the colour here. I mean, I've, I've sort of turned the amp up to 10 with the, the back row, but they're 
really thinking about the, the colours they're, they're producing. Um, they're factory colours, all, all of the licensed things are factory colours, although I wouldn't know about that, but probably. But the Teslas are, it's, it's great. And then they go a little bit nuts on the other stuff. Loving that. I love them all. Get in there with your colour. Brilliant. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. That was mix seven already. Unreal. Looking forward to mix eight. Bye.